YouTube, my name is Isaiah Games, and welcome back to this brand new video where I am going to show you guys the update on my Roblox V1 rig. So let's start off with the introduction. So in the part 1 I actually did the introduction already, and in part 2 I'm going to do some explaining on how everything is supposed to be and supposed to be put together and stuff. In uh, part 4 I'm going to show some of the new functions on the rig itself in Autodesk Maya. In part 4 I'm going to show some of the new facial features. In part 5 I'm going to show the rest of the body or the new features on the rest of the body. And in part 6 I'm going to uh, show you guys something very important for the people who already bought my rig. So keep that in mind, if you don't want to follow the previous steps you can go to part 6 for the people who bought the rig already. And in part 7 I am going to end the video. So let's go over to part 3. 2, sorry. Okay, so in this second part I'm going to show you guys how or actually what's included in the file of the rig. So once you have bought the rig or you already bought the rig previously or the original V1 rig which you might have bought, I'm not sure, but you will get this file over here and it's called Maya Jose Games V1.1 Roblox Premium Rig. Okay, so you can open it by double clicking it but I would prefer doing, well, doing right click and then click on extract files and then just click OK. It'll create a folder for you in which you have all the files which are included with the rig. So first of all you have the previous versions in which you can actually see all the previous versions of the rig. Uh, which is the faceless rig and the premium rig, V1 of course. And we've got the skin folder which I already covered in my V1 video. The readme has been updated with uh, the new features that I've added to the rig itself. And some other information is in here as well, which is very important to read before you start using the rig. And I've got my self hype page, and of course, most important of all, the Osea Games V1.1 Roblox Premium Rig for Autodesk Maya. So, let's go over to part 3. Okay, so in this part I'm going to open the rig and show you guys the new functions I've added to the rig itself. So, let's open it up. Here we go, give it a second to load, click continue. And here we've got the rig. So, the notable difference right now in comparison to the previous version is that it says IKFK over here, which is one of the features I've added to the rig. And in here you can actually change the IK and FK switch for the arms and the legs. You can do it individually for every single part of the body. And if we click on this control or this icon over, or not icon, but this NURB over here, this NURB circle, you'll get a rig functions panel in the channel box layer editor. So over here you've got all the new functions of the rig which is the eye controllers of course, uh, the mouth controllers. The mouth controllers I didn't change anything about, but here I've added two new controls. I'm not sure if it's these ones. Yes, it's this one, which is a pupil skill controller, which I didn't add to the previous one, and a eyebrow size controller, because the eyebrow couldn't be changed in terms of size. So now you can do that. Okay, let's go back to the control or functions panel. We've got a function or a control panel size controller, so we can control the size of our panel. And maybe if we want to work really close to the face, you can actually move this even closer and stuff like that to uh, to get access to the controllers a bit easier. So that's that. We have got the pupil and eyebrow toggle controller. You can turn them on and off right now which wasn't possible in the previous version of the rig. And here comes a very important part and that is, let's actually open the mouth for this. So we've got the mouth, right? And sometimes while animating with the mouth, if you take a look over here in the bottom left and I start animating, you see that it's actually loading all the time. And it can be quite laggy on slower machines. 
So what I did is I added a feature which you can use for animating the body itself. You can animate the mouth forwards or afterwards and you can optimize it by turning off the mouth like this by setting head optimized to true. Right now you will have a more optimized workflow for the rig and it'll be less laggy and you don't see any loading in the bottom left anymore. Um, the next feature is the head size. So I've added a head size and rig size controller. So the head size will only reskill the head and the rig size will reskill the whole rig. So you have a bit more freedom in terms of character creation. And then we have the facial subdivisions, mouth subdivisions and head subdivisions. Okay, so the face subdivisions is for the eyes and stuff like that, the pupils, the eyebrows, the tongue, teeth, and let's actually open them or turn the mouth back on again by setting this to false. The tongue, the teeth, and the mouth subdivisions is for the mouth itself, and the head subdivisions is for the head. But I would prefer keeping the head subdivision and mouth subdivision all the way down to zero. And also, if you go to optimized mode, then the um, face subdivision will actually change the subdivisions on the head itself, as you can see right now. Okay, so let's go over to the body parts. Okay, so we've got the IKFK switch toggle, which you can toggle by turning this on or off. And we've got the body subdivisions to make the body smooth. Okay, so I want from this part I want to explain something in the rendering tab. Is you've got the body subdivisions subdivisions and the full head subdivisions. If you turn these up all the way up, it won't affect any of the uh, workflow for animating itself, but it'll give you a smooth render. But there is a little catch to this because I couldn't get the head to work with this system. So basically if you want to render your animation, you will have to turn up the head and mouth subdivisions when you are going to render. So just keep that little thing in mind. So yeah, uh, that's actually it for this, this part. Let's go over to the fourth part. Well, it would appear I have combined part 2 and part, no, part 3 and part 4, so... Let's actually go over to the fifth part. Sorry for that, guys. Okay, so in this part, I'm actually gonna show all the body functions. So let's turn off the facial controller since we won't need them. And I'll show you everything I did and changed about the body. Uh, so first, let's start off with the IKFK switch and Right now everything is set to IK, including the legs, and also one thing you will notice is the pull vector is on the side. Yeah, I did that for a no-flip uh, action animation if you want to move the arm all the way up. So let's actually make the body a bit smoother. So body subdivision set it to about 2 or something. Okay, so... When we switch to, let's say we move the IK controller over here and this one maybe forward or so, we can actually have a smooth animated transition between the um, between uh, switching the IK and FK switch. The same goes for the legs, but there is something else I want to show you guys about the legs, which you are probably gonna like a lot, and that is mm, here comes. Ankles. Yes, I've added ankles to this rig right now, which you might like or dislike. If you dislike it, you can just go ahead and use the previous version of the rig. But this is basically what I've done or added to this rig. And also, the leg has an IKFK switch, and this FK switch brings something else as well, which is not only a knee controller, like so, but also a ankle controller to control the rotation of the ankle. And also I forgot to show you the arm bends, so let's do that very quickly. Uh, let's switch this up to one, sorry for that, a little bit of a weird flip in there because I actually moved back and forth too fast. So this is the arm and it looks pretty solid I think. I also added 
something else to the leg and that is a leg top sorry for that guys motorcycles these days and that is a leg top controller let's actually turn off IK for legs again and then you can actually move this separately from the body okay so there is that so let's go over that's actually that <laughs> sorry guys sometimes I'm very terrible at English so let me say okay um, <clears throat> um so this is practically everything about the body all the changes also the pole vectors on the side for the legs and yeah that's actually it for the body so let's go over to the sixth part Okay, so in part 6 I'm going to show you guys how to get, or actually this is only for the people who bought the V1 rig already. So I just wanted to make a little announcement and that is actually, you probably already see it over here in the title, is that the V1.1 rig will be free for the people who already bought the V1 rig. So let's say you bought the rig and you want the V1.1 rig. What you can do is you can go over to selfie.com and actually log in and I think I've logged into the... no I haven't. Okay, so go to selfie.com or actually let's go to login and then actually go to your own page or so, yes. So here we are at our dashboard and we can see our little icon over here which has no information. Okay, so basically what you do if you want to have the rig is you go over here, you go to uh, purchases and you will see the rig you bought from me over here and you can click download and you will automatically download the latest version of the rig which in this case will be the V1.1 rig. So that is it for this part, I'm going to go over to the last and final part which is part... Uh, which part is it again? Part 7, I think. Or it's part 6. I think it's part 7, so let's go over. In part 7, okay, here we are. We're in the final of this video. So, I want to thank you guys a lot for watching this video and supporting me by buying my rig in this case. It's my only rig which I have up for sale. I hope there will be more upcoming in the future, but it might take a bit of time since I started with a new internship and I barely have any free time, so it's gonna take a long time before I actually upload a new video or animation or a new rig or whatsoever. So I want to thank you again for watching this video and supporting me in any ways by liking or subscribing subscribing, maybe share it with your friends, and I will catch you later. Goodbye!